Welcome to Salenta with Love and we have another blue sky and another walk through to do together with you. The building in question right behind me on a fantastic road here in the centre of Galatone. An historic building, first floor with a beautiful roof garden. Clearly from the features outside you can see how beautiful this building is. Part of the historic centre of Galatone and a lot of space tastefully refurbished so i think without holding any more we should go in and explore this property together so you're probably thinking of relocation in salento with this beautiful blue sky 27 degrees beginning of june and a fantastic season or probably having a property that you can rent galatone is only five kilometers from some of the best coastlines so this property, which is a turnkey, and it's a real turnkey property, gives you the options that you're probably looking for. Let's go and walk through it together. What a fantastic entrance, right on the corner. Oh, we have a doctor. Yes, she's a local psychologist, and you will see from the space how well, I think, closing the door behind us. I love when I just look at details like this, bringing back some of the old, features of these wooden doors. All the doors and windows are in wood. And all the steps are in graniglia. Well, she did this property because she wanted to live here when she moved from the north of Italy and she's been living here for a long time. From the first moment I saw this property, I just realized the amount of care and love that has gone into this property. And sometimes little elements that show that are, like I've mentioned before, doors and windows. When you see, I'm actually on the edge of the door. So straight away, because we're on the corner here, we have this, which is a balcony window, bringing light into the stairwell. And then we're gonna go straight in. And I think I'm going to let you enjoy the fantastic entrance that we have here. And it is really wow. Look, as we're going through, even details such as the handle, in solid brass. This is not a, I don't want to say anything horrible about IKEA, but this is a solid, beautiful rosewood parquet flooring that goes all the way through the house, giving this very warm look. And the ceiling. Wow, what did you think of that entrance? It's, it's amazing because when you step in, the, in this particular room that it's got light coming through the stairwell and it's got light coming through the balcony doors and from everywhere, first of all, you are actually greeted by one, two, three doors. And where are these doors taking you? Really clever because the way this project was thought right from the beginning was that the property could be split giving total independent access to certain areas of the property so you could rent one part of the property and keep the other one totally for yourself. So we're going to go and explore this section of the house after we explore the main lounge area and the kitchen and the bathroom servicing the whole of these floors. Wow, this extraordinary open space with two beautiful balcony doors and the stairs leading to another floor with another bedroom and another bathroom. So let's explore this space first. So what did you think of that? Attention to details going from really the handles and all the small elements that have been used in putting this property together. The parquet flooring and then the fitted kitchen. Having a property that you could just move in and literally settled as you arrive. Well, I must admit, it's quite a rare find here in Salento. So when I do find properties like this, I'm very happy because you can land and within about 45 minutes an hour, you can put your suitcases down and you can start preparing your pasta. 
Yeah, and open the bottle of wine, which is very important. The bathroom, lovely space. So while you're on the ground floor, you've got the bathroom there, the shower room, everything you need. Everything coming off that main space. But if you remember, when we were in this space, which we're going to filter through now, I love these glass doors as well. We talked about a space over there. So should we go and explore that one over there as well? Let's do it. So you probably noticed from the plaque on the wall when we arrived here that a doctor lives here. So when she developed and designed this property, she was thinking a workspace, a living space, an entertaining space. And I must admit, she achieved all of that within this beautiful space. And these beautiful buildings allow you to do that. So through the refurbishment process, she created this area, which is a little different, more contemporary, going from the flooring that we're going to be looking at, but also the doors much plainer with a flat ceiling and this beautiful kianke or natural stone that we have here in Salento all the way through. Wow, look at this space. So we're going to explore this space here together. Again, I'll turn the camera around, enjoy the space. Let's go in. Well, first of all, this is a metal door. I think she wanted to keep the work area pretty safe. And straight away we have this floor here, which is made of a natural stone making it very plain and very contemporary and much lighter from the darker floor that we have in the other area and the amount of light that we have in this room. That was great, wasn't it? I actually love now stepping out of the picture and allowing you to enjoy the space as my camera travels through. And so you've noticed that this room here, which could be easily now is a studio, obviously, for her to accommodate her patients, can be quite easily turned into a very large and spacious bedroom, almost like a mini apartment because it's very large. And then with the ensuite bathroom right next to it, with total privacy. And then we have a set of stairs and you wonder where are these stairs taking us? Well, I think we've got to go up and have a look. And well, we have, she also paints. So we have, wow, I can smell the paint. And so she's got all the little things up here. Again, light has been an important element in the refurbishment. This is not the whole roof terrace. This is just a section. Wait for the real thing. And so we have this little roof terrace, which is almost independent to the rest of the house, just for that room and that bathroom. Beautiful buildings around. That's another palazzo across the road. Well, Galatone was a very wealthy crossroads back in the 16th, 17th, 18th century. A lot of that wealth was translated into buildings, and this palazzi are a witness of that. On this floor we can find the boiler. So what it means is that this property is totally connected. Well, probably you've noticed that from the standard. Totally connected to the grid, gas, electric, sewer, everything, and really well maintained. So we should go back down now and go up the stairs and see where those wooden stairs will take us to. So I must admit, she's doing really well hiding in the property. It's, it's like one of those hide and seeks, but she keeps appearing and disappearing. She doesn't want to be on camera, but that's quite common when I do these walkthroughs and uh, it is quite a personal thing. And actually it's already quite a painful thing sometimes to let go of a property that you've put so much heart and attention and care really in the refurbishment process. And this has been her place for many years and now she's prepared to move by the water, that's a choice that uh, she has made. So ready for someone else to take advantage of this beautiful property and all the features and all the comfort that this property brings. So we said we were gonna go up and look at the beautiful steps, all in solid wood that have been done. And I love how the stone at the top is being kept to the original stone. Again, even this set of stairs, it's got a beautiful amount of light coming through 
being on the corner, I always love corner positions building because they've got light coming through. So, comfortable. So you can be downstairs and you can decide to use the whole of the ground floor to sleep and spend all your time or you could come up here and be in a different dimension. So that was great, exploring this area. Two rooms with a bathroom servicing the upstairs floor, lovely put together, beautiful floor going all the way through, central eating all the way upstairs, and then access to a fantastic garden. Now she hardly uses it, she lives here alone. So can you imagine what a little bit of loving care, some plants, just a bit of white paint and a clean up will do to this beautiful, outdoor space here in Salento. So I'm going to step out there and I'm going to allow you to enjoy the outside space by yourself. So what do you think of that? A huge amount of space, newly refurbished, lived like a proper Salentino style with the star-shaped ceiling, surrounded by beautiful buildings. We can't see the sea, but the sea it's over there about five kilometers with a bicycle about 10 minutes. Some of the most gorgeous sunsets can be seen from up here from this roof terrace. The sun setting into the Ionian Sea with Gallipoli just there in the background. What a fantastic opportunity to own a property that can allow you to relocate here in Salento or having a foot on the ground and generate some revenue from a rental. Now our video finishes here but it doesn't really finish here because I'm going to say subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a comment, ask questions. The property is also listed on our website www.salentowithlove.com ask me all the questions you like and at the end of this video I would like to have a quick wander around to show you some of the most beautiful elements of what makes this city also one of the cities that I've chosen for my own palazzo. Stay safe wherever you are.